Hey guys, what's up? Sebastian, aka Sly Cooper 101 here, back with some more Sly 2 Band of Thieves uh, for the Sly Collection. So yeah, where we last left off, guys, um, I, um, I sadly I could not get to do this mission in part two, uh, silence the alarms, um, because you know I I had uh, stuff to do with my mom, of course. But um, I, I'm gonna be uh, showcasing to you guys right now. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. All right, and now we gotta be careful. Um, these um, Iraq, these uh, guards are gonna um come out and try to stop us. We we can also throw them at the alarm horns to destroy them. All right, there goes one out of three. It's time to go to the next one. All right, it's right there. Dang it. Oh well, it's alright. Alright, so there are enemies uh, coming up from there, of course. Oh shoot. Okay. Oh no, what? Dang it, I got cornered. Wow. Wow, I I, <laughs> I never expected to to get cornered like that. Wow, that's a first. Dang it! All right. All right, so time to go to the last one, and it's right here. After this um, alarm horn, then that's it. Mission completed. Woo! Let's go. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, so now time to go back to the safe house and switch to Bentley. Yep, so we can do his job at Disco Demolitions. Here we go. Oh, dang. Wow. Heh, <laughs> got him. Whatever, just gonna keep on running. All right, you got it. Good job. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick to bring up your binoculars. And then tap the R1 button to fire a dart. All right, yeah, you got it, Sly, buddy. So, yeah, this is actually what I just did right now with that red guard. Um, yeah, I put him asleep so that he won't notice me. So time to uh, place this guard asleep and then uh, take him out with our bomb. Alright, you got it. Woo! 
I, I got to bomb that laser um, barrier and the guard at the same time. Awesome. Jeez, all right, Bentley. Don't worry, you're, you're all right. <laughs> you don't have to freak out too much. All right, so yeah, we have to bomb all these supports right here. Um, you know, uh, holding this uh, disco ball together uh, in order to drop it and destroy it completely. Oh, well, I forgot to equip that. Hang on. Yeah, you could do it like this too. Oh dang! Wait, I I forgot that I um I cannot shoot through the laser barrier um straight. Oh shoot! Dang it! <laughs> I love the the bomb toss. Alright, one more to go, and this mission's complete. Yeah, it's right here. Woo, let's go. <laughs> Heck yes, you said it, buddy. Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull up the big heights. First, Marty will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Now, be sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Heck yes, yep, you said it, bro. All right, so let's do it. So yeah, uh, time for the um the big heist, uh, the big mission, um to get at the Clockwork Tail Feathers, and it's right here, Operation Thunderbeak. All right. All right, you got it. Yep. So let's get started. Um, let's take these guards out first. Bam. Good job, Murray. Alright, you got it. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple of tries, guys. Yeah, getting up there is kind of complicated. Why is it so hard? Yes. All right, so yeah, we have to um uh, bomb that barrier in order to get in. Yep. 
Yes. Absolutely. All right, you got it. Oh, yay. There's a shiny loot over there. Awesome, a silver comb. Got it. Okay, Alright, you got it. Yep, so we come back here to uh, give them the key. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. Yep. Alright, so let's just keep him asleep and let's go straight to the repair truck. All right, you got it. Yep. So here's like where we last left off. That you know where yeah where we um um gave uh, the key to Bentley and Murray. So now we have to uh, do slice part, which is to get on top of the nightclub's peacock sign. Uh, you know, so that they can shoot the grappling hook uh up to us to attach it to the peacock sign. And they'll be able to pull it uh, down right on top of the fountain. Alright, you got it. Yeah, so time to shoot it up to Sly. Bullseye. Oh, wow. Yep, you, you got it. Oh, what the heck? I didn't uh, do the, the the slam move. Bam. <laughs> Bullseye. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Ben. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here.
show your bling and let it shine. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Let's dance! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yep, time to take him out and get at the clockwork tail feathers. Alright, so here's uh, how you um, uh, attack at him. Like, uh, he's gonna like shoot out three beams at you. And after, uh, after he shoots out uh, three at you. Um, and then uh, he cannot shoot a fourth. Yeah, like right now. Yeah, after you attack him a couple times, uh, then he's gonna um, uh, attempt to uh, uh, shoot at you again with those uh, things that he has. So yeah, just keep on attacking him. There he goes again. So yeah, after three shots, uh, his thing doesn't work anymore. Alright, three more should do the trick. I mean, four more, I'm sorry. Yep, you might as well just take a minute. Woohoo! Let's go! We got the clockwork tail feathers. Yes. My gang and I have done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Heh. <laughs> Aww. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. <laughs> the gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Heck yes, you said it, bro. Yeah, I realized, you know, that in the PS2 version of Sly 2, um, when when he says um, that they head out of town for a week in Monaco, they, there's another cutscene that they show that um, Bentley is uh, playing a game of cards with Murray. But here in the HD collection, I they don't show it, you know. Instead, of Sly says um, something else, you know, saying that they figured that the team um, deserved a a well-deserved break but oh well no biggie yeah and I almost feel bad I mean I do feel bad for Dimitri uh, hopefully he learns his lesson so time for episode 2 a starey eyed encounter another clockwork part had surfaced in India so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta and started his life of crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit into a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings. The symbol of Miami. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name is Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. Alright, 
So time to get this uh, episode started. So let, let's see what we have. Okay, we got the silver comb. Oh, um, turn buckle launch uh, size and stabilizer and combat dodge. All right, so we're gonna have to recover up on some coins uh, to be able to buy those power ups. All right, you got it. All right, yeah, I forgot to set up that. You know, I'll I'll just put L1 for the smoke bomb and R2 for the knockout dive. All right, so time to head into recon the ballroom. Oh boy. Yeah, so yeah, like, um, since uh, that drawbridge is up, the only way around is uh, through these uh, rocks, as Bentley said. We have to jump towards them and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. Yep, uh, which was represented by one of his uh, ancestors, Ryalichi Cooper, from the first game. Yeah, so, yeah, you do them like this, of course. A ninja spire landing. <laughs> I love the sound of that. <laughs> All right, so let's head to our mission. Dang it. Ah. Oh, there's our clue. Awesome, a gold pen. Alright, so here's another clue. So let's head right up here. And another clue. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on, Bentley. How can there not be a way up uh, to that balcony door? Uh, otherwise, uh, how would I find out uh, who's at this party? So yeah, time to climb up these branches until uh, we reach the balcony. And here we are. Voila. <laughs> there you have your proof, Bentley. <laughs> Absolutely. So we gotta remain in this room. Yeah, this is how this room looks like. Yeah, pretty interesting room. All right. So yeah, um, we we just gotta um, keep it safe and quiet right over here, and of course not go out to this balcony. Uh, so so that we remain undetected. So time for some recon photos. Oh yeah, tell me about it. They certainly have. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. An electronic witch. That could be useful. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, of course he has. Yeah, that that could also be uh, pretty useful. Hmm, interesting. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it's funny how uh, Rayshon has put the wings as a design for that statue. Yep. <laughs> but the um, uh, using the clockwork wings as a design is totally not a good idea at all. Yeah, totally. And of course, the Carmelita and Neela are here. We just gotta wait for them to show up to take a picture of them. There she is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's Neela. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Heck yes, you said it, bro. <laughs> yep, I gotta be very extremely careful with um this party. It is crawling with cops. Yep. Alright, you got it. So, yeah, time to lower that drawbridge. Yeah, so we have uh, two missions uh, with Sly and one with Murray. First, yeah, let's do um, lower the drawbridge and then we'll go to ballroom dance party. And yeah, there are some clues right here. And yeah, and there's a loot right here too. But um, the reason why it has this red dot because it's actually a booby-trapped loot. Yeah. That means that um, if, if we do not run it back to the safe house within within the allotted time that we have right now, uh, it will self-destruct. So we have to run it back to the safe house before it self-destructs, which is what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I can um sell it. There we go. And now, um, here we are back outside with Sly. So, let's actually go through here. Yeah, this is another path that we can take. And there are also some clues over here. <laughs> it's funny when they do that. <laughs> All right, so let's go lower that drawbridge. Down. Do you know where I can find the keys? Eggard have recently taken 
All right, you got it. So there's a five keys in total. So time to pickpocket the guards with the keys, and, and um, then bring them all back uh, to, um, yeah. Then bring them back back to the lockdown wink in order to lower the drawbridge. Like this clue right here. Dang it. Oh, wow. Um, they <laughs> they they called off the the, the search against me uh, very quick. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get this uh, loot right here. Bronze medal. <laughs> of course, he's gonna hear that. So. Alright, well, but, um, I found a second way in order to um, um, get him away from his post. So yeah, like, since he heard me take out that guard on that rooftop, he's gonna be running to that rooftop, so time for us to follow him. <gasps> oh, dang it. Hang on, wait, uh, let me get this loot really quick. So yeah, like we could also like ring that gong um to lure that guard away from his post. And then like while he's walking back. Wait, what the heck where'd he go? Oh. Yeah, while he's walking back to his post, we could definitely pickpocket him, which is what we did right now. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. <laughs> yeah. Alright, only two more to go. Dang, some of these cars uh, have a lot of coins on them. <laughs> well, it makes it good for us, at least. Oh, yeah, and also, um, one thing I should let you guys know about that, um, yeah, um, when you see these uh, loops right here, um, yeah, um, while you're on a job, uh, yeah, you cannot, um, pick them up. O only when you're not doing a job, then you can bring them back to the safe house, of course. So time for the, the fifth and final key, which is right there. And then um, we will lower the drawbridge. So that, yep, so that Murray and Bentley can finally access some... Um, <clears throat> the, the whole palace.
All right, yep, you got it. I'm just gonna get this clue really quick. Oh, and, and that one right there too. Oh, what? Dang it. Wow, that... <laughs> that that happened really quick again too. Oh my goodness, what? Is it the secret, like... What, isn't it, like, to, uh... Um, to just, like, jump onto, like, one of those, um... Uh campfire um um things the those campfire poles like is that the secret <laughs> maybe it is <laughs> alright so here we are Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, so the yep, so the drawbridge has finally been uh, lowered. So time to head into ballroom dance party, and then once we're done with that mission, then um, it's time. Then it will be time to do Murray's uh, job, which is battle the chopper. Alright, awesome. So yeah, like um we actually cannot um go in the party yet because we don't have a tuxedo and I don't even know like how uh, Bentley overlooks that. Like yeah, I mean come on Bentley, you are very smart. I mean no offense, but but yeah, like obviously we cannot uh go in looking like this, you know. Obviously, um, you know, uh, Carmelita, uh, Neela, the Contessa, and everybody else uh, um, are going to recognize us. And then what are we going to do? But, oh, well, you know, mistakes happen. So, yeah, time to go over here into the, the mission of steal a tuxedo. All right, wait, let me pickpocket this guy really quick. Old pen. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay then. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the room? <laughs> yep, definitely. Okay. Sean is uh, totally sounding strict. <laughs> All right, so we have to um, we have to look for five parts of a tuxedo to have you know 
a, a complete set of a tuxedo in order to be allowed to enter into the ballroom. So yeah, um, there's a five rooms in total. And <clears throat> we got um search each of them to find to find one part of a tuxedo. Yep, search all five of them to get all five parts of a tuxedo. Um Yep, to have a, yeah, to have a complete tuxedo and then we can go back um, to the dance party um, to enter for the dance. Bullseye dance shoes. All right, so now four more to go. Yeah, you you can also um, go through the balconies. Um Yeah, you you can go out into this balcony. And go on to the other balconies, which are right here. Oh, dang, that was close. Yeah, you you won't um, abandon your job when you come out here. Yeah, so um, let's come on to this balcony right here. Yep, this is another room we're entering. Yeah, we can go in through the balconies or through the corridors. Oh, of course, yep. Bam. Alright, so it should be in here. Yes, bow tie. All right, so let's go to the next rooms. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang, what the heck? I just like launched it to this uh um to this position right over here like a snap. <laughs> wow. Alright, so taking these guys out is gonna be a bit tricky. Alright, so just smoke bomb. And then hide. And then um, I get to take this guy out. Yeah, just wait until them, this guard turns his back again. And I'll just quickly pickpocket um, his loot. And then take him out. And then find the other part of a tuxedo. Yep. Alright, take him out. Now let's get that part of the tuxedo. Yep, really quickly I'm gonna grab these coins. Alright, it should be in this drawer. Yes, yes it is. Dance gloves, awesome. I mean, it just says gloves, yeah. Um, well, I mean, they, they, but they are dance gloves, of course. <laughs> Alright, so time to head into these last two rooms. Alright, so we're gonna have to do some serious fighting here. Wait, oh. But really quickly, let me just get this part. The shirt. You had the dance shirt. Ah, dang. Ah. Bullseye. Alright, so I'm only missing one part of the tuxedo. Time to get that part. And then I can finally get into the dance. 
All right, but really quick, let me get this gold ring, and boom. <laughs> This is going to be pretty easy. What the heck was he doing? <laughs> yes. Alright, so here it is. Yeah, tuxedo jacket. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, so time to head back um, to the ballroom and <clears throat> and start the dance with our tuxedo, of course. So, um, yeah, here we go. Dominate the dance floor. Yep, time to head back into the ballroom to dominate the dance floor. <laughs> here we go. You got your dog field now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Alright, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Constable Mila, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? He won't by any chance here to turn himself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. <laughs> wow. I wonder what that word means. Um, Try to memorize the steps. Are you got now it? Yep. So, in this part, um, yeah. So, first we're gonna um be showcase um the um the buttons that we have to uh, press uh, for the question marks, of course. Yep, to be able to dominate this uh, great dance floor <laughs> Are you using me to get at old iron sides? Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. Well, not really using you, just some um, getting your help. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I I'm almost 100% sure that the word that she said is uh a French word. Nice. <laughs> yep. Thank you. That fellow is very graceful. If only you move spice shivers as well. Early science. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> 
Yep, you can tell. <laughs> yeah. I love the word yes and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Hewitt. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Leela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Mila. His skills far surpassed you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Woohoo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, we got to impress her enough. And now she um uh, accepts some our offer to dance. But we have to do that in another mission, of course. So time to head back to the safe house and switch to Murray to do um his mission, Battle the Chopper. Okay, so I'm only missing seven clues. So let's do this. All right. So with um, oh wow, dang I, I even forgot to equip the fists of flame. So yeah, here's how you equip them. Yeah, in case I haven't showed them. Um. And then you just hit a guard with it and they'll be set on fire. And if you want to turn them off, you just hit L1 again. And the turnbuckle launch, basically, you know, it's like this. You, you can gain some extra altitude with your jump with it. Yeah, you, you can jump higher. Hold on, wait. Uh, let me showcase you guys really quick the Fist of Flame. Boom. Yep, definitely. Okay, so um, here we gotta um, lift this thing up. You got it. So um, we have to rapidly uh, press a circle, square, X, or triangle to lift up this lever. Whichever one works um, best for you. And now here we are. Alright, you got it. Oh, absolutely. Yep, that, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, time to destroy out this chopper for good. Because uh, we're, we're definitely going to need um, the, the skies uh, to be clear uh, for, um, for our future uh, missions, um, you know, uh, here in this episode. Yep, like while, while on the job for um to get the clockwork wings. All right, so it's right down to half health. Yeah. So to to not let your guns overheat, you just um uh tap a, a R1 instead of uh yeah, just keep tapping R1 like instead of holding it. Alright, it's almost down. Yes! Yeah, thank you. Cut the wings off the statue. 
make the saw blade that durable, how they'd slide as peels of gems off the headdresses on Rajat's prize elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the height. All right, you got it. So, um, we have uh, two missions uh, with Sly now, and one with Bentley. Um, yeah, and, and none for Murray. Alright, so now we can purchase these power-ups. So, um, really quick, I'm going to try to get the, um, the seven and last um, clues. So, um, I'm going to try to showcase to you guys uh, what um, combat dodge is. So, um, when you're facing an enemy, uh, when he's about to attack you, you can just do that, you know. Easily dodge. Ah, dang it. Hold on. Dang it, wait, I'm trying to dodge the, the, the guard's bullet. Ah, oh, come on. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> I get to, to dodge his bullet easily. Ah, oh, wow, that was kind of stressful, but, oh well, I'm alright. Wow, wait, dang it. Hang on. Ah, oh, I'm trying to combat dodge the, 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 their bullets. Oh, dang it, wait, I think because there's two of them. Whatever, dang, I almost got taken out. Alright, I need more health. No, come on. Dang it. <laughs> it's funny when they go like, ooh, ah. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much this episode is already half done. I was uh, looking around to see um, if there are any uh, clues around here. So we have Elephant Rampage and Boardroom Brawl and RC Bombing Run. Oh, dang. He has uh, loot. Oh, this guy has loot too. Alright, another one right over there. Alright, let me just uh, be careful. Alright, yeah, since we're here, let's just start the job. A boardroom brawl. Thank you. 
crawl under each till I find it. That's the idea. All right. So yeah, pretty much we gotta like look look uh, under these some um, tables until yeah um crawl under each of them until we find the the um, code combination to disable that barrier. Yeah, absolutely. This one should. This is it. Yes. Now type the code into the laser door entrance. Oh, you got it. I'm just um whacking these um yep for health. Alright, here we go. Bullseye. All right, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, here's uh, the vault, but we need three more clues uh, to unlock it, of course. So now, um, let's um, um, I'll flip this um switch right here um to let in Bentley and Murray. Let's do this. Okay, I'm in. Hack in the level six barrier. All right. All right. So yeah, time to um. N now um, we're playing as um, Murray, and Sly is uh, helping us out too. So while um, Bentley is uh hacking um the uh, electronic winch above the ballroom, we got um. Uh, um Yeah, we gotta cover his back um, and protect him from these uh, guards that will try to stop him. <laughs> I love this um, move of um, Murray. I love how you knock them in the air and you kick them to take them out. Dang. I can't believe I smashed him through that breakable obje object. <laughs> Alright, so um, after this... Um, yep. Awesome. So after this mission is done, I'm going to have to call off the, the video right here because um, my camera is already on its lowest percent. Awesome. Yes. Oh, dang, how did I forget this?
Yep. <laughs> I can tell you definitely can taste it. <laughs> yes. Alright, yeah, now that mission is done. So the, the last two missions that are left are um, uh, the Elephant Rampage and the RC Bombing Run. Yep, yeah, technically they, they um, left me here by myself, but oh well, it's fine. I can always uh, just uh, exit out uh, through where I entered in from. <laughs> so yeah, um, time to call off the video here, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching um, part 3 of my Sly 2 uh, Band of Thieves playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. God bless you all. Jesus Christ loves you and have a blessed day.